I want to say that uh, God made men first. And let's not forget that. But let's also not forget that God made frogs before he made men. So it looks like that there was a good uh, area of creation and a better one. And of course, the best was left to last. And that's women. Another thing that I often find, the question is, uh, but women are the helpmate to the men. Yes, that's a that's a Hebrew word. And that Hebrew word is used 21 times in the Bible. And 15 times, it's God be my helper. Ezer. Ebenezer. God be my helper. Now, does that mean he's your slave? No. The five times, it's a, a country saying to another country, always a bigger one, would you be my Azer? Would you be my helper? Why? You don't want the little one to help. You want the big one. So out of 21 times, the Bible is about the greater helping the lesser. Well, then what does this mean? That the women are going to be a helper to the men? That means they're greater? No, there's one other thing. There's a qualifier just ahead of that word Ezer that says they are absolutely equal. They've been both made in the image of God and they are absolutely equal and they help one another. And so the Ezer there is an equal person helping the also equal person both made in the image of God. So read that book because it asks the answers and asks and answers the hard questions that many men like to put up as hindrances to God's work through women. God bless you.